What's up developers, I'm going to show you today how you can make a mini-map for your 2D top-down game. You can also use this for other things, not just a 2D top-down game, you can apply it to 3D and a 2D side-on view. You just have to change how you render the textures and you'll learn that in this video. So what you can see here is we have this simple mini-map for our top-down game um, and we can move around here. Enemies will spawn and you can shoot them. Um, and as you can see, they spawn in and they all get their own unique color, their own graphic. And when we're dead, we have disappeared from the map and the enemies are dancing around where we died. Um, but you can see there how the minimap works. It's pretty cool. The enemies just spawn in and do what they want to do. Um, and if you want to actually build this specific game as well with the movement and shooting, we've actually been doing this on the channel. So you can head to the links down below to see the previous tutorial and the playlist as well. So hopefully that helps you. So without further ado, let's get in to this video. Okay, so let's actually get into the development of this. So as you can see on screen, we currently have our default game open here. Nothing's actually changed. We've got our free spawn as well. Enemies will spawn from and our actual player. The thing we need to do is actually set a camera because we're going to be using the camera from the top down, looking down and render that to a texture that will sit in a mini map on a canvas. So let me just go through the steps with you here. So the first thing we want to do is create a new camera um, and rename it to mini map camera. We could change the color to be anything black, white. I'll just leave it at white. Uh, it doesn't actually matter because it's not going to actually render. Um, and we want to change the camera to orthographic and just reset its transform to zero. We also want to move it under our main camera. You don't have to do this, but if you're going to plan to make your camera follow your player, you'll probably want it to be there anyway. I've just noticed for some reason its name didn't actually change when we renamed it to Minimap, so I'm just going to re rename it to Minimap. Uh, and there we go. Now we have an orthographic camera, and you can actually see it down here. However, the issue is you can actually see... or Sorry, you can actually... Um, See, it's the same size as our current canvas, which mini maps are actually bigger. They're a lot bigger. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this to about 15, which makes it, as you can see, a much larger area it can view. We're also going to be cropping this to a square or actually a circle later on. Um, so it's actually going to be a lot smaller anyway. Uh, but it gives us a nice radius to see where our enemies are spawning from. So anything else I'm going to do is I'm just going to move all of our elements up here. Let's just turn snapping on. Set it to one. There we go. Bring these over a little. Just so when they do spawn, they spawn slightly further out, giving us time to see them on the minimap. There we go. Now, what we want to do is go back to our minimap here, and we actually need to stop this from rendering to our screen. You can see here when we go to game, it's actually now become our main camera, which is the issue. We do not want it to be the main camera. So to sort that, what we want to do is change, change this target texture to be a render texture. Now, I've already actually created a minimap render texture for some reason. So let's just delete that and actually create a new one. So what you're going to do is in your assets, right click, click create and go down to render texture here. Now we can change this to be whatever we want. I'm just going to call it mini map render texture. And at the top left here, we want to. you can change this to whatever you want, but I'm going to set mine to about 512 by 512. This gives us a nice larger canvas to work with. Um, and if you want it more clear and stuff, you can up the resolution of this or whatnot. Um, so let's go back to our minimap and actually set the render texture to be our minimap render texture. And you can see it crops it here. But when we go back to game view, our camera is now set back at our main camera which is great. So you can see our minimap down here and nothing actually is showing on it yet. So one of the first things we need to do is to actually go into our layers here and add a new layer. We need a minimap layer, which will have all our minimap icons on and following our elements in the game. Because currently we could just show all our player and stuff like that on the actual minimap. Uh, if we change our player's actual color here, if we go to its graphics, and we went to red and went back to our minimap, you should actually see him on the minimap. Oh, but one issue is we're actually too zoomed in. If you look over on the left here, the position is set to 10 on our minimap. Just set that to zero and there you go. You can actually see a little red dot now for our player, but that's not what we want. Let's change this back to white, um, go back to our minimap and we actually want to render 
the specific layer we've just created, the minimap layer. So what we're going to do is under culling mask, we're going to change it to nothing and then to minimap as our new rendering layer. So it's only going to render stuff on that minimap layer. So let's actually create some graphics that you will see. So after our player graphics, we're actually just going to duplicate our player graphics, rename this to minimap GFX, and we're just going to change the color to what's a good player color blue. Some sort of bright bluey color, maybe that color, we'll see. Um, and we want to up its size because currently you can see it here. Um, we actually want it to be a lot bigger. Um, this way we actually can see it on the Mimax. Obviously the Mimax is zoomed out. We kind of want it to be a bit bigger so we can actually see it. You can keep it to scale, um, which would make the map a, lot, a bit more accurate, but you might it might be harder to actually see. Um, so there you go, we've got this and we just need to change its layer to minimap. Now, if we go to the minimap layer, you can actually see it's rendering our little circular character. And that's what our player will look like on the minimap. Now you can use any graphic for this. You don't have to use an actual um, circle sprite or anything like that. You can use, let's just click it to character model here. Um, and if we go back to our minimap, you can actually see it's a tiny, it's pretty small, but it's a tiny little character. Let me just up its size a lot more. Let's make that uh, five by five. You can see the player script there. And if we go to minimap, you can actually see it's an actual little player there in the screen. Uh, but we don't want that. We're just going to use circles for this tutorial, but you can use any graphic you want. Let's change this back to a circle. They are all circles. Good. Just circle. Why have we got so many circles? Just select the default circle and put that back at two. And there you go. So now we have this graphic and we can see it not in our view. You can see it's not actually here, but it's in our minimap view. And the reason you cannot see it in our main is because I've actually it's actually unticked. If we was to check this, you would see it in our main view. So what we want to do is in main camera, check take uncheck the minimap camera because we don't want the minimap icons appearing on our map so now we've got that let's actually go back to our minimap and we want to add in our enemy sprites onto this map um so to do that we want to go to spawner or not spawner sorry enemy we're just going to do enemy one you can see him here we could keep them as triangles and just create a bigger version of the enemy triangle but again to keep with the theme we're going to add a circle Call this the mini map graphics. Um, we're going to put this at two and two. Actually, for the enemies, we're going to make them 1.5 and we'll make it red. There you go, just like that. And we've got to change its layer to mini map. Go back um, and then come back to our actual mini map. And now, when we hit, oh, we're actually not going to see this. I've just thought we haven't actually created the canvas to display our mini map. So, how do we do that? Well, what we want to do is right click in here, click UI and just do anything. Just click a canvas for now um, and that's fine. Uh, I'm just gonna change this to scale with screen and pull it up my screen resolution or any screen resolution, just like that. So the scaling is correct. Um, and then inside here, we're gonna create a few things. I'm gonna create an empty and call this the mini map. Then in here, we're actually gonna have a, I'm gonna create another bit called the mini map border and duplicate that and I'm going to change this to be mini map mask and then inside of here we want to create one more empty and call this the mini map render now you're going to see there's a bunch of different things here let's start off with the mini map border or the actual mini map let's set it to be sitting in the top right I'm going to set this to minus 24 minus 24 which brings it in a little um, and we also want to set the width to about 400 400. Um, that should be about right, but that, we can't actually see anything yet because we haven't actually rendered anything. So in our minimap border, I want to set this to stretch to the whole screen. I want to add in an image graphic. Um, I want to make this a circle and I want to make this black. And there you go. You can see that is our mini map there. We then want to get our mini map render and add in a raw image. Now this we also want to stretch this out to the whole thing. Um, and this minimap render, I want to go to our minimap render texture and drop that into our texture. And there you go. You can actually see our little player there. 
although it is very small, so we may have to tweak that in a moment. Um, but that's now rendering there. So we have our minimap mask, which also needs to stretch to the whole thing. And there you go, that's made it a lot better. Now, the reason we're using a mask is because currently this is actually a square. If we go to our scene and zoom out, this is actually a square render texture that's going to render our whole area. And we don't want that. We want it to actually have a mask. So I want to set this to be an image um, with a circular sprite. And then we actually want to set this to be a mask. And that will mask the stuff behind it. We can also disable the mask graphic if we want to, but I like leaving it on and actually using this as our background color. So I'm going to set this to be about a, let's just say a CCC, CCC, just like that, close that. And now we have our mask renderer, but you can see it's now covering up our border. We just want to make this a bit smaller on all the sides. So let's do it circle like that. And there you go. That's going to mask our actual render texture. So it only fills the circle. And there you go. We have a little render texture. So we go back to our game. You can see it's up there. That blue doesn't really show on that canvas. So let's go to our minimap mask. Let's make this a lot darker. Let's do something like that. There we go. Now let's hit play and see what we get. So now we're in here. We're just waiting for enemy spawn. We see we've got a yellow. I've accidentally made a mistake here, uh, but you can see our red enemies are now spawning with giant... Ah, oh, we've been killed. Uh, you can see they're spawning on the map and you can actually see them there. So let's just turn this off and go fix this enemy. This is so on enemy two, for some reason the enemy is two times the size. That shouldn't be it. I don't know why they're two times the size. These can also be zero. And there you go. But we don't have a minimap texture for our enemy two. So let's create a new... Um, a new 2D sprite circle. I forgot what I was saying that and call this mini map graphics. Set its render texture to mini map and change the color to be a yellow. We're just gonna say FFCE00. Uh, and we'll set this to 1.5, 1.5. That should give it a nice large area. Um, and then let's go back and go back to our enemy, which should actually be good. Oh, enemy. And you can see it already has its graphics set at 1.5 and they are at 1. Cool. So now our minimap should work correctly with all the enemies we have in place. And as we move, you can see we're moving around the scene and so are our enemies. And we can actually see that they're spawning outside of the area before they get to us. Which makes this game a lot easier to play, actually. Um, but you can see how you can actually create a really cool minimap. You can add a bunch of graphics to this, make it look better. And this is how simple it is. It's really not that hard. And you can make this as performant as you want by changing and culling specific things. Um, and yeah, that's how you do a simple minimap in Unity um, 2D top down. You can also use this minimap in 3D and do the same thing. But obviously you have to make sure everything's oriented correctly looking down and whatnot like that, which is all easy to do once you actually have it done. And there you go. So that is how you build it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video. If you get stuck or have any questions, leave a comment down below or jump in our Discord server and ask for help there or just come and join the community. Link is down below. I will see you in the next video, guys. Peace out.